Hello everyone, today we're going to speak about the different forms of verb to be. First, we have the personal subject pronouns. Each subject has to take its different form of verb to be. Let's start with the singular subject pronouns. We have I, he, she, and at. I takes am, for example, I am a girl. He, she, and at take is. He is a boy. Then we have the plural subject pronouns. We have we, you, and they. All of them take are. We are here. Now I will leave you with a video to revise and remember the different forms of verb to be we spoke about. Two, try to listen to the video several times and sing with it. As you saw in the video, verb to be has a big, big family. Okay, the or am is an or. For example, I am a student. She is a girl. It is a cat. He is a boy. The or friends. You or a baby. Now let's move to another point, which is the negative form of verb to be. If I want to make a negative sentence using verb to be or in which we have verb to be, I use not. For example, I am not. I am not a boy. I'm a girl, right? So I'm not a boy. And the short form of I am not is I'm not. I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. I'm not a boy. Here we have he is not and the short form of it is he isn't. He is not, he isn't. She is not, she isn't. It is not, it isn't. For example, if I want to ask a question, is this book yours? Is it yours? I will say, no, it is not mine. It isn't, or it isn't, the short form, it isn't mine. It is not mine, or it isn't mine. Here we have the plural subject pronouns. Here we have uh, you, they, and we. You are not, and it's short form, you aren't. They are not, it's short form, they aren't. We are not, we aren't. For example, they are not here, or they aren't here. Here we have another video to revise what we said about, about the negative form of verb to be. As we said last time, try to, to listen to the video several times and sing with the song. We are in. We 
Okay, so we spoke about the affirmative and the negative form of verb to be. Now let's move to the interrogative form or how to ask a question, how to form a question using verb to be. First, we have I, the subject I, and it's verb to be am, I am. Okay, first, if I want to say, I am a girl, how can I ask a question about this sentence? How? Who can tell me? Mm. Are you a girl? Yes, right. So what did I do here? Are you a girl? I turned I into you. And because you take or, the verb to be or, I turned am into or. Right, well done. So you are, and to ask a question, I bring or, I make this cross, can you see it? Or, I put or at the beginning of the sentence or the question. Are you a girl? If I want to say I am fine, how can I ask a question about this sentence? Are you okay? Are you fine? So, are you okay? What, what did I do here? I put the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence or the question and then I put the subject. Are you okay? Are you a girl? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm fine. If the question is, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. So on. Okay, here we have he, she, at. And as we said before, they take is. So if I want to say, he is smart. How can I ask a question about this sentence? Is he smart? Right, I put is or the verb to be at the beginning of the question. Is he smart? Is she beautiful? For example, yes, she is beautiful. She's very beautiful. Okay, here we have we are. Okay, we, we turn we into you. We are coming. And you take or as well, so you will leave or as it is. Are you coming? Are you coming? I put or at the beginning of the question and then I put the subject. Are you coming? Then we have they, they are. They are teachers. So I put or at the beginning of the question. Are they, then we have the subject, are they teachers? Then the rest of the sentence. Are they teachers? And don't forget the question mark. Okay, that was our lesson about verb to be and its different forms. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.